five things. Um, so in no particular order, um, I'm going to put some more generic ones out there that are absolutely key. Uh, so I look for, first and, first and foremost, uh, someone that I think has got enormous drive. Um, because entrepreneurship is a roller coaster. It's up and down. It doesn't matter what role you're playing. If you're in an early company, you need everyone running really fast. So they've got to have that, that, that intestinal fortitude. So that would be um, your point one. Uh, point two is I look for a, 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 a like-mindedness on the vision. Um, in small companies, the cultures are, are being established. They're living in unstructured to semi-structured environments. So you have to have belief in two things, a belief in the mission and a belief in the leader that's, that's driving that mission. Uh, so that would be point two. And then I think uh, three, uh, uh, an underlying set of values. Uh, I have to try and determine very quickly whether I've got uh, someone that, that, that's valuing not just what I call human values, but the values of entrepreneurship and the values of being in a company at the right place. Do they understand the expectation of what's on them, where they've got to go, what kind of risk they're going to undertake, what kind of progression they're going to have uh, in the kind of short to medium term. Um, so point four, I'd say they've got to have um, an opportunity to demonstrate, and I'd, I'd draw this out in the interview process, that they can solve problems. Every day in, in entrepreneurship, in startups, you are solving problems every day. If you're not, you're doing something wrong. And it's not just the, the founder or founders that are solving problems, it's everyone. And often or not, great startups hire great people and the problems are being solved along that pyramid so that it's not all coming back to the CEO. So I try to hire people with uh, strong analysis skills, uh, critical thinking, deductive reasoning, uh, that can just go out there and solve problems and present uh, solutions that we can all get behind. Uh, very important. And then five, um, demonstrate something that they've really overcome. Uh, something that, that was a, a leapfrog for where they were in their, their, their career. Where they demonstrated that they perhaps surpassed their own reality at the time. So it shows that they've got the ability to go from one place to another place pretty quickly. Um, this is about the demonstration or the power of demonstration that someone knows that they're able to do things that, that are, are beyond uh, their average daily competency. Uh, I think that's a, a, a super important demonstration and you can draw that out again in the interview experience. So often what happens in, in interviewing is that you get people that will talk through things that they've done and uh, uh, they're, they're okay, they're pretty impressive, but you're trying to see what else can they do that's not written down on paper. So that'll be my five things.